it. <laughs> they ain't won nothing. <laughs> Hey, I'm going to go live on Instagram right now. Let's talk sports at Rock T. Holla. There it is, man. <laughs> hey. Don't blame me, dog. I ain't said no. Finn. <laughs> Morning show. Have you ever experienced deja vu? Is that eerie feeling when you have what up, a y'all? at every event? Because you are. And I know it sounds Woo! weird. Woo! People. Happy so, Wednesday to you. Hump day! day. Now, the last time All right, what are we going to talk about today in sports? Uh, let's talk about this whole Washington Redskins situation. <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. Got to get my water in. I'm going to go in real fast on the Redskins. I'm about to go in on the Redskins. And I ain't even trying to make that rhyme. I'm about to go in on the Redskins. All right. So... We already know the Colin Kaepernick situation on how NFL is pretty much um, uh, making it obvious now that they don't want to bring him back into the league. So the Redskins lost their first two quarterbacks, Alex Smith, Colt McCoy, both to broken legs. All right. So they go sign Mark Sanchez, which is cool. They got to hurry up and get some quarterbacks in there because they got, they got another month of the season left. They have an opportunity to bring in Colin Kaepernick and sign him. And they said they had discussions to sign him. But they decided it wasn't a good fit. Come on, Washington. Mark Sanchez. I'm not hating on the young brother. Mark, hey, dog, you spent a lot of years in the NFL. You did your thing, but you are what you are. Mark Sanchez is a third-string quarterback at best. He's a third-string quarterback. Nothing against him. I'm not bashing Mark Sanchez, but he's a third-string quarterback. You got Colin Kaepernick sitting over here who's been working out, who's been training. He's ready to go. Even if he's a rusty Colin Kaepernick is still five times better than a seasoned Mark Sanchez. Hey, man, it is what it is. I just call it like I see it. All right? Now let's talk about Urban Meyer. He's uh, stepping down as the Ohio State Buckeye head coach. <clears throat> and uh, after Rose Bowl, he's done. He says it's going to be done. Now, you know, I, I get it. You know, he's, he's dealing with some health issues. He got a cyst on his brain. It's causing a lot of migraine headaches. So, you know, we, you know, we pray everything gets, gets, gets uh, back on track with that. Um, but come on. Done? Coaching? For, no, man, he's going to wind up in the NFL. There's really nowhere else for him to go uh, in, in college football. Think about it. He's at Ohio State. Where else is he going to go? He's not going to get the Alabama job. You know what I'm saying? He's not going to go over to Georgia. He's not going to Clemson. You know, the only other place I can see him maybe winding up is USC. Maybe USC. But I don't even think that's going to happen. He's going to be in the NFL coaching in the next couple of years. Remember, Rock Teasy told you that. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. So I got that off my chest. I just had to get that Colin Kaepernick situation off my chest. So what y'all talking about, man? Urban Meyer as a Green Bay Packer coach? Hey, I ain't mad at you on that one. Ain't mad at all. Steelers Nation in the building. What's up, man? Man, y'all putting them in here. Hold on. I can't even keep up with all y'all doggone messages. You light skin. You thought I was a dark skin, brother? <laughs> That's funny. I sound dark skin on the air. Yeah, it's crazy. It's all good, man. Yes, Colin is a hero, baby. Colin is a big-time hero. Who that in the building? Yeah, we definitely know the Falcons ain't going to be there. <laughs> That's the truth. Them dirty birds are playing straight dirty. Golly. Y'all go get a new defense, man. I would, Man, I'm not even going to pick the Falcons if they play the doggone high school team. Golly. And I like the Falcons, man. They just keep disappointing me. Miami over the Patriots. It's not going to happen, but if it did happen, it wouldn't surprise me. Miami's one of those sneaky teams. You never know which version of the Dolphins are going to show up from week to week. That's why it's hard to pick that team. You never know because they, they, they show up one day and play like, yo, a strong playoff contender. Then the next week, it's like, who are they? A JV team? Yeah, man, but I don't think they're going to beat the, the Patriots, man. Patriots heating up a little bit. 
Yep, that's going to be a factor with the Chiefs running back Kareem Hunt out there. Um, it's go, it's going to be a factor. Is it going to slow him down? I think they, I think this is where uh, Mike Holmgren, the head coach of the Chiefs, this is where he's going to outsmart teams. He's going to start moving Tyreek Hill a little bit around more, put him in, place him in that backfield a little bit. Don't be surprised if he runs the ball out the backfield a couple times. But they're going to switch a few things up. So they are losing a lot there. But I, I still think they're good enough to get to get to go deep into the playoffs and still possibly get to the Super Bowl. Heisman Trophy? Oh, man, that's that's um, uh, Kyler Murray, hands down. Because two attack of uh, by, by Loa, he didn't uh, he didn't play enough. He played about three quarters of the season. Remember, the first half of the season, he didn't play like the fourth quarter of most of the games. Now, he has great statistics for the time that he's played. So, you know, that's a good argument. But Kyler Murray, man, that dude, what, like 5,000 total yards, 51 touchdowns. He's going to win it. Yeah, man. Le'Veon Bell to the Chiefs. Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. You know what? I'm going to call you on that one. That's one of them Rock T predictions. You beat me to the punch on that one. That's a good one. I can see Lev. Yeah, I think that. I think that's gonna happen. I think I can't. I don't know who said that, but good job on that one, though. That's a good one right there. I can definitely see that happening. Yeah, man. All right, so I'm about to get ready to check out players. I will holler at you. <laughs>